I'm Neil. Neil, uh, got a last name? Shop. <laughs> Shop. There you go, Neil. Uh, Neil, when you uh, went out the last time, before you went out, what did I say to you as you're in the staging area? Uh, Didn't I say don't fall down on me? Yes, you did. Uh, and you told me not to fall down. Exactly. You just went out there and you just won something. What did you win? The smoothest rider competition. Very good, Neil. With about 40, 45, about 40 people out there, you were the chosen to pick, uh, the, the, picked as the smoothest rider from all the uh, corner workers. Um, How does that make you feel? Very proud, actually. It, it was funny because when I got black flagged, I thought that I had done something wrong. It was I was freaking out there for a minute, but it was really a surprise to me to come up here and then find that I've been nominated to win. This Very good. Rider. Neil, if, uh, is this your first time with this? This is the first time on a track ever. Okay. Well, that's very good that you've been picked, Neil, as being smooth. You have a lot of innate ability to do that. And, uh, uh, Neil, what do you think? Do you think uh, being smooth is, impor is important, and if so, why? I do think it's important. Um, coming into those corners too fast, not being smooth through them, they can really, they can make you wreck. And I've done that a couple times today, coming too hot. And uh, it's it's no fun to do that. Um, yeah. What about uh, now? Another area of riding is called consistency. Do you think consistency is important? And if so, why? Yes, I do think consistency consistency is important because you have to know what to expect coming through a turn. You got to know what you're going to do, what your bike's going to do, and if you don't do that, then bad things happen. Right. And uh, uh, Neil, you hear of uh, people that are. Uh, I guess you probably rode the streets that uh, you still ride the streets and everything, right? Neil, what do you have to say about uh, somebody that gets out in the streets and they get uh, they ride too aggressively, they're too competitive, and uh, put themselves and, and others at risk? What do you think? Is that a smart idea, or what do you think is going on that they put themselves at risk and, and uh, some of them re result in fatalities? What, what do you have to say about that? I think it's very dangerous to get out and ride like you would out here on the street. There's so many more people to endanger you. Uh, people do stupid things on the street. They don't have this kind of experience. Um, and your life is just at a lot much greater risk out there. Out here, it's not the perfect situation, but it's much closer than it would be if you were on the street. Why is it uh, much closer to a perfect situation out here, Neil? Why is that? Because it's a whole track designed specifically for motorcycles. Everyone out here knows what they're doing. The whole track is built for racing. It's not the freeway where you straight line 180 miles an hour and then you don't know what cars are pulling in front of you. Exactly. What about oncoming traffic out here or intersections? Intersections, uh, a lot of times left hand turning, people don't see you. It's kind of rough. Uh, you got to keep your eyes peeled. And what about out here? Now, do we have many uh, uh, intersections out here and oncoming traffic? No, no intersections. <laughs> One of the hardest things is to learn not to look over your shoulder. Right. To learn the person behind you is going to do what they're going to do, and you got to trust them to an extent. So. Well, very good. Um, so, if you had a, a had something that you would say uh, uh, to somebody that was out there, really kind of putting themselves at risk and pushing the the limit as far as um, speed, entering corners too too hot, what would you, what would you tell them? Um, are you talking about riding on the street or on the track? On the on the track uh, on the street. On the street. Okay. Um, I'd just say save that crazy riding for on the track. Riding in the street is very dangerous. Um, a motorcycle riding period is dangerous, but especially on the street, uh, it's not the place to race. It's not. That's not what it was designed for. It was put for public commute, and it's public streets meant for public safety. And, yeah. Do you did you ever used to race in the streets? Do you have any friends that do that? Okay. No, I've only been riding for four months or so. I haven't had, I haven't been the person to go out and do that. Though. Right. Well, very wonderful. Uh, you should be very proud of what you won. Uh, go and see uh, uh, Blair Hart from Hart Photography. You're going to get a picture of your choice, a free picture. I think it's a 12 by 14, and uh, he does great work. And uh, go ahead and get that frame. Be proud of it, and be proud of your uh, again what you won won today, Neil. It's very very good. Thank you. You bet. Yes, Neil. Um, how did you find out about Ride Smart? I started riding with the Fort Worth Motorcycle Riding Club. Um, they're just a group based in Fort Worth. They're all sport bike riders. They're a fun group of people. Good to get to know them. Uh, they're very safe, but they're not afraid to open it up. Right. Um, and I hear that. Uh, Something said you either got something for free or you had to pay double for something. Which was it? 
Oh no, I had to. I got the, the free pass to come out here for the Ride Smart Track Day. Uh, FWMR raffles off a free pass to um, to all these track days, and you just enter your, you make your entry, and you have a chance to win. So uh, I got lucky and won this time. How does somebody would get a hold with that? Let's say somebody lived up in the Fort Worth area. How would they go ahead and get a get a hold with of the uh, make contact with the uh, with the group? <clears throat> uh, visit FWMR.net. Uh, it's just a website, it's a forum basically, and you can make, create, uh, register yourself and you can go on there and start talking to anybody. Uh, just start a discussion, let them know who you are, and they have bike nights every, or like two Thursday nights out of a month, so uh, just keep your eyes peeled for that. It's a good way to get to know everybody. Well, Neil, thank you so much. Again, congratulations for winning the contest. Thank you, Dave. You bet.